right, which is a map, apparently. <laughs> so I guess I'm actually going to stay just briefly to see what the, everyone picks. I have to know what, what happens here. Right. And I'm going to manage the, the venue. Make, bit, oh, right? yeah, right. You have to know who's what. Yeah. Make yeah. sure people get well, prizes. They're all stuff. random. They're about to uh, spawn right next to each other, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. But. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, my God. God. This is a brutal, brutal start. Brutal start. So we have Silky as a turn. We have a Zerg directly next to him, which is uh -huh. Silky's, Silky's dead, I assume. Okay, we're just going to get a drone ball. Yo, Puck is like the master of uh, worker rushes here. And yeah. He's going to be going for Silky, just trying to take him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I think, I think what we were trying is. Oh my God. <laughs> I think what we were trying to do a backfired. And uh, we got this situation. <laughs> oh, so, uh, a lot more damage here, but I want to see it everywhere else. Oh, Masa gets the lucky one. And so yeah. does Future. So Masa and Future are kind of just like, whatever. They have no idea that this battle is raging on in the top left hand corner of the map. Uh, <laughs> <definitely>. <laughs> Quite the battle. I kind of feel like I would have just gone for the 12 pool instead of doing it this way. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh. yeah, you might be right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he has three drones left. Uh, it makes another one here. There's a red SCV too. Oh. All right, so we've essentially, I feel we've mildly turned this into the one on one. Yeah, but the good thing like, about this with the other players is that. Um, wasn't it Puck that had a life anyway, right? Oh, no, you said this is for the... Uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to... This isn't to actually lose a life or gain a life, but it's mm -hmm. just for 25 bucks, basically, because we've got that in the uh, in the pot. Now, what's going to be really interesting here, actually, I was talking about it before the game, of the idea of playing a 1v1 with a small force on the side to interfere. That's essentially uh -huh. what we're going to get. Pretty much, one of, yeah. the, one of these is going to die, but the other guy's going to be so weak that they're just going to be a nuisance later in this game. Yeah, but they can much. potentially still play the main guys against each other. This is so funny. I can't believe yeah. it. Yeah. But I I think it's funny because, yeah, Moss is going to go scout and he's going to see what the hell's going on here. And he's just like, wait, what? This yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little. A little. What either of them can do about it. Politics. Exactly. Oh, he doesn't help either of them. He's going to let them to the... Uh, to their own wars here. He doesn't interfere in the local makes, wars. Uh, makes sense. He could be the kingmaker. It's amazing that they've both just gone back to mining. Mm -hmm. Like they just, I've never seen a worker rush just disengage. As if nothing happened too. Like. Is Puck now, or Silky now trying to kill his own, he was healing them up. And oh, he's yeah. now going to go in for the drone kill again. Wow. Well, I mean, guys, you know, uh, on the other side of the map, you know, there's actually uh, things going on too, right? <laughs> yeah. Like Future going into his factory. He already has an expansion ready to go. Yeah, we do have Reapers Reapers fighting a Marine. Does take one out. Oh, the workers are now just chasing each other across the middle of the map. <laughs> and they're fighting in the middle of the map now too. Yep. There's only six workers. Uh, oh, no, no. Puck has six workers, but they're all in the yellow and orange, while Silky yep. only has five here, so with some good micro, he might be able to fight those. Oh, my in God. In terms the of the... The great equalizer. <laughs> yeah, oh. this is going to be the kingmaker. And now this is going to set off uh, pretty much for the next round, right? Because Masa did say that he picked Puck, and he's just, like, letting him know right now. No mercy whatsoever. Oh, yeah, we've got no no like production. Rebel. Iron Man over yeah. here. This is how Iron Man got his name. Like, remember that Puck was getting yes. picked on, but he's, he persevered. That is true. He did get picked on a lot in the early rounds. And it looks like we've now got the Reaper kind of deciding who wins this one as Mass's Reaper comes in and now going after uh, Silky's remaining workers. Oh, man. Puck, Puck looking for an ally as he is at zero supply. <laughs> and he's saying that I will help you versus future till death. But um, honestly, Puck doesn't even have a drone to his name. Yeah, nor nor any money to get one. He does have this overlord. That could be a huge factor. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> if only he had a lair, then he might be able to poop creep somewhere. But there are True. a ton of bases on this map. 
They really are. This is like the most bases I've ever seen, and yet two people spawn next to each other. Uh -huh. but, <laughs> but yeah, we've got 30, 32 bases. If I'm not mistaken, that is a lot. That is way too many bases. There, there is indeed 25 bucks on the line, which I think is now going to either Massa or Future. Uh, no, no, both no. of them, oh, God, this Buck is coming back. He could still end up, he's actually done remarkably well considering the origin to this. Like mm -hmm. two of them went all out worker versus worker, but Puck is, or sorry, Silky is uh, back to 12 SCVs. Puck yeah. could just, his uh, way to win is to be the last building standing somehow in a weird base race where someone kills their own buildings. Yeah, That's that, really would be, the that would be hilarious if um, somehow, some way that did happen in like the last building of either future Amasa burned down. No, but, um, could happen. Now, mm -hmm. I like this. Masa mm -hmm. is going for some cheekiness in the bottom middle of the map. He's taking a hidden base, but near that hidden base, of course, is a fusion core. Oh, yeah. Masa was showing uh, that he really was a fan of those. Uh... No, actually, no, I'm thinking of someone else, but <laughs> you see. <laughs> Some funny builds before where he will see somebody do it and then in the middle of a tournament just be like you know what let's do it i have no idea how to do the build but somebody made uh speed banshees it was mvp i think um oh yeah or somebody like that in the middle of a tournament and then he just oh decided, it was it was innovation the night innovation, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> he, he watched innovation do it the night before then he went on stage and tried to do it against the laser <laughs> yeah he also he but, did this recently against uh a, a mass uh, battle cruiser build against Scarlet in the WESG finals. ESG, Again, yeah. something that he said he had never done before. He just kind of knew that they were good and decided to improvise it on the spot, and it worked out. And he won that game as well. <laughs> um, there is the first first battle cruiser out there now, at least. Yep, with the six skin, yeah. and. On the other side of things, future going for something a little bit more standard, just with the marine tank has one Raven here, and that's going to be for the uh, the disruption or the interference matrix rather. And when he pushes across the map, he's going to find these cyclones, but uh, he has no idea that it is going to be what triple port ban no triple port battle cruiser. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, is there enough anti air here to deal with that? I mean, there's not that many. There, marines. No, yeah, no. There, there may not even be enough anti air to deal with one battle cruiser. That's what I'm like saying. The, and I yeah, mean, yeah. damn. He's going to get greeted by them and just be like, are you serious? Yeah. Silky's so still just kind of grinding away. Puck is completely out of this. He's not even microing his overlord. Oh. Just there, man. He's giving up all hope. Oh, there we go. That's his last unit, God. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, well. He can micro his larva, I think. Oh, Masa going to be trying to do a bit of micro here with the lock on, but the micro of future picking them up at the last second, but he does end up taking out one of those cyclones. Yeah. And the future, delay do you even know where Masa spawned? I don't know if he does see it. Well, he does now at least, oh, but uh, yeah, I don't know if he knew before. He was in with the Reaper, though. I think he had an idea. Yeah. Right, the well, battle are now making itself shown, or three of them. Oh, he's gonna get the, the model kit and all the metabacks. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now Future's running away to the other base of Silky and Puck, who has one siege tank and a bunker with Marines in it. Mm -hmm. And I think the battle cruisers are gonna reign supreme today. Yeah, they do look pretty strong in this situation where nothing really shoots up in the air. Nope. <laughs> and uh, more battle cruisers are gonna be coming out. Uh, he's. Going to uh, face some Viking six are being made by Future at the same time, so he did have the uh, stair ports already in place. We'll see how they do against yeah. the battle cruisers. How many is he going to be able to get out by the time that the battle cruisers get here, though? Yeah, it'll be at least working on upgrades either. Yeah, at least the the six. He's probably going to have like ten by the time they actually go in and attack there. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. He's going to push up the ramp. Even has the Cyclones to lock on to some of yeah. those Vikings. Yeah, that's Definitely a big help there. Masa does not teleport the Battle Cruiser away no. in time. There goes one. He's going to try and get the Yamatos off and then get them out of there safely. All the uh, Marines do die. Yeah, the Battle Cruiser is looking quite strong here. 
that they are. And also here with the Cyclones, I don't know if he's going to be able to make enough, because even if he deals with those battle cruisers or forces them to leave, he yeah. has, has three Cyclones inside of the base, and he's going in. Yeah, this does look pretty bad uh, for our future here. But he may end up having to eventually retreat this last battle cruiser as four Vikings pop out at the same time. Oh, he tried to Yamato, but uh, ended up dying there instead of getting the teleport off. Two Cyclones, though, still off are going to help keep the Viking count down. Hey, your future yeah, Ma still has four bases, yeah. Yep. Uh, mass repair on the cruisers back home. Now, there are more battle cruisers than there are Vikings at the moment, which seems like a pretty big deal. But yeah. a big factor to this, if there's a lot of Marines, is going to be the anti-armor missile. So if yes. he can get Ravens out to get it off, then lowering the armor on battle cruisers actually can turn them into paper really quick. Oh, boy. What is this game? Yo, this <laughs> is what free for all is meant to be, by the way. Um, yes. You know, starting Mass off with the worker rush. Our boy Silky. Don't forget about him. He's still oh, he's, he's in there. Oh, these, yeah. these Cyclones are pretty good. Right? Cyclones can be good. Oh, no, Masa. Doesn't even want to give Silky a chance as he moves on over here. Yeah. He's got to feel comfortable oh. because, like, yeah. No. If you um, lose too much to trying to take somebody else out, and then that would give Future a chance to get everything. Uh, yeah. So. It's the future they are canceling Mass's seventh base. He has found the two hidden bases at the bottom here. That could be quite good. That being yeah. labeled as BM to take to take out these. <laughs> it's like what you're trying to you're fighting me in this game that we're trying to kill each other in. But uh, how could you? I can't understand why you would ever do it. I know. Why have you done it this? seems wrong. It does seem wrong. And Mass has had to go all the way across the map for that. Yeah. Indeed. They are slow. Hawk still cheering this on from yeah, his Mas. limited vantage point. <laughs> he still has a voice though, okay? And that is powerful enough. That is key. Encouragement sometimes makes all the difference. And here we go, Masa. Pushing into the base of future after he goes on the other side. Now there's that Dorito missile. Oh. We were talking about getting everything. Yeah. But what, the battle the cruisers right? coming against landed Vikings is not what you want there. And all these go down. Oh. oh no. Nice armor, lol. And the battle cruiser count looking pretty strong. The Vikings can try to kite though, but remember now battle cruisers can chase. Yes. And still be shooting. And that movement is the key to this. Movement definitely the key to this. Now he's camped over everything. Some of the star ports are going to start to fall going after the reactors. And uh, Massa in a mildly commanding position here. Yeah, I yeah, do getting really Masa says Puck, cheering on really helped him out there. That really and was the key. Now. Pretty easy. Right? Once you camp the production of Terran, you're pretty golden. Generally, yes. He's even got SCVs repairing from the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. Yeah. They're fighting, they're repairing. They're attacking. <laughs> and that's and that, that is basically going to be it. I think uh, Future's only recourse now is like a nuke. Uh huh. Or even Silky, right? Don't forget about that guy. He, yeah. He's still putting yeah. in that work. Well, it, it is something. He is actually going to move out here now. But uh, Massa can't obviously recall back or teleport back or whatever the hell they call it. Tactical jump. Yo, tactically, yeah. He just go all the way across the map. It is a really big map. And I no. assume that Silky knows that it is Battle Cruisers because Masa did try to <laughs> attack him a bit. So he's going for the Thor route, which still good against Masa, but they don't have things like Yamato cannons. They don't have that single shot. And I think there is a Battle Cruiser for every one of the Thors. Yes. So <laughs> at this point, it, it, that doesn't even seem like a uh, future, <laughs> even though he's holding on. Uh, Masa, of course, in this one. you know, wary about that puck, puck situation. Mm -hmm. 2v1 it. I do like that Silky has not finished off Puck. Yeah. Like, he's just left that hatchery there. <laughs> it's still alive, and it can't do anything. Yeah. Nothing so at all. wait for the last person to leave the game after they all say GG, and Puck will still be in the game declaring him the winner. 
Masa's trying to eliminate Future completely, and he does have a command center floating in the middle of the map. Like, it is gonna land yeah. in the middle of the map, where there are no it's minerals to mine. There's, I feel like there should be a gold in the middle of this map. Like, there's nothing in the middle of this map. At all, all. yeah. And with like, only 32 base, it? it feels like you should have more. Yeah, you wouldn't even be <laughs> fighting for anything at all. Um, yeah. A hidden CC has got, uh, is trying to get away here. And I like this. Silky is taking one of Future's old bases just as Massa leaves. That's going to be the last place that he's going to go look for it again. Oh, uh, no. but Masa is going to find the command center. Yeah. And, uh, well, the door it's, count looking it's... pretty good. So let's see what they can get done. Yeah, Mass is seeing how, how big Silky has gotten here. He is on, like, four base, basically. Cool. So he's trying to get out here, Masa. Trying to sandwich a bit, though, with those tanks at first, and then maybe have the battle cruisers come from a different side. But there yeah. they go, oh, right on top right of them. Yep. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be the yeah. end of Silky. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is that. <laughs> he fought valiantly, though. Nice, nice scam, Rainbow. Going off here. And it looks like, up. Oh. Uh oh Okay, la little lag in the game, maybe re rematch. Oh yeah, gotta do a rematch, 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's two over. That. Yeah. Yep, yep. Re, 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 re. Oh, I wish we had uh, the ref, but we are going to be here in the shadows. Oh, see, too many BCs. Too much fast fire. The computers yep. can't handle it. They can't even handle it at Lag all. It out. BCs are pretty good against all races. We never really no, got to see a Zerg unit in this game, other than the drone. I don't... <laughs> I don't think he even attempted to make a pool at any point. I don't think so either. He just realized that yeah. Uh, yeah. Silky was right next to him and he said, okay, yeah. let's just at least take you out, make sure that you can't do anything. Because even if they just fight with the drones and don't ever actually kill each other, all the mining time that would have been lost would have kind of taken Silky out anyway. So maybe that is a strategy. Get in his head a little bit here, saying I'm coming for you later. Future is God. rebuilding. Future actually died with a lot of minerals and gas. I'm oh, surprised he didn't do this a little earlier. Yeah, I like the Liberator up. over top. <laughs> <laughs> over top of this base is just pure VM. It just kills Larva as it comes out. Yeah, the automatic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the automatic spawn dead. And that, yeah. Silky, this where's his bottom, last one? Okay, he has another one there. Yeah, he's got uh, this base. Now, Massa probably is going to keep Puck alive until... Yeah, this little marine army never quite got cleaned up, and he's still able to make more now. SCVs are going to kill these marines. What like very... are you... Future rebuilding. Uh-oh, he knows. He knows. He's going to go to the middle, and he's going to find all of these command centers, and <laughs> ah, Future just does not have enough time. He's just going to make a bunch of them. He's wasting uh, Masa's energy right now, right? Like... Making him uh, work for this one here, so that he's weaker in the rest of the tournament. This is oh, definitely a cooler look, just having the BCs fly over. Like, Ooh, Future so has Future been completely is... eliminated. Silky does still have something in the bottom corner and the top corner. But yep. there is no stuff scouting around for it. This is the tactical delay at this point. Now we're into, like, meta of the rest of the tournament of, can I, am I tiring Massa out? by doing this <laughs> or something. I don't oh. know. Yeah, yeah Masa's going to have to scan all over the place. I think he finally saw it, though. He can uh, just send a BC to every corner. Pretty much, and he will get it here. Future has yeah. left the game as he did get eliminated. His last building was destroyed. That one has huh? been ended. There is still stuff in the top corner. Nothing is scouting that just yet. Mm -mm. As it will attempt to rebuild, he is making a barracks. <laughs> Asa making some Vikings and six more command centers, you know, just in case. <laughs> he gets the scans this time, though, and I think that the battlecruisers teleport might be off of cooldown. So if he uh, was he paying does, attention there, yep, he does he get in there now. Uh, at the uh, is that the Liberator that moved over? I think so. Is it a CC or uh, a BC? And... 
Yeah, the PC on the CC might cause Silky to type the GG, baby. Yeah, no worker left here. He's not going to be able to get this away. Not, not at, at this all. point. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle is real. And that command center is going to go down. The battle cruisers teleport on top of the barracks. Without any workers out on the map, this is going to be the last legs for Silky to stand on. Imba leaves the game, and now that he's out of it, basically Puck is going to be the remaining one. All right, let's see how Puck handles this here. And... <laughs> Massa. Massa barely winning that game. <laughs> basically. The, the struggle is basically real. Basically barely winning. Oh.